come out of her, my people. All truth is not kind to hear. There's a bitter truth as well as a sweet truth. Come out of her, my people. Pastor Dow, and um, of course, 
I'm getting ready to head out here before long, um, probably along about 4 o'clock this morning. Um, we're going um, to do, 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 head on out to Shofar Mountain. Uh, myself, J.C., Brother Juan Gure. Most y'all don't know too much, Brother Ron. That's Sister Rainey's husband and Brother Daryl. We're going to be heading out there to assist, to help Pastor Fox and him uh, do the work of the kingdom. Glory to the king. We hope each and every last one of y'all encouraged and that the broadcast is coming in well in your area. Hallelujah. Um, Of course, you know there's always something going on in the news, especially with us Israelites, there's always something going on. But I think um, what I'm going to talk about here, just for a moment, I'm not going to spend much time here tonight because I really got to get to bed because you know it. Before you know it, the time will be up on us, and it'll be time for me to leave. Um, we got about a 10-hour drive, uh, so y'all pray for our safe journey to the Shofar Mountain and return back home. Hallelujah. And we would appreciate it. Uh, very greatly. I'm sure that all the brethren will appreciate your prayers very, very greatly. Glory to the King. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed uh, yesterday's service and that you learned something. And and we're really just getting started. We really truly are. We're really just getting started. Um, there's so much more to learn. It seems like little time to learn it in. Um, but, we, we, you know, we like talking about the things that are very uncomfortable uh, with the people of the world. You know, there are a lot of subjects, and I want y'all to listen to me very carefully. There are a lot of subjects in America, uh, in the world, especially when it comes to the Bible, that a lot of people just simply, you, you know, you hear me say these terms all the time, adopt a hands-off attitude. In other words, uh, we don't mind talking about this subject, but let's don't talk about this subject. You know what I mean? Or we could talk about this, but we don't want to talk about this because, and the reason why we don't want to talk about it is because people's feelings may get hurt or their emotions may be damaged. Sister Carrie is in the office again with myself and Sister Carol in the house uh, enjoying the broadcast. And I guess you can't break routine, Sister Carrie. Come on over and wave at the Saints of the Most High, y'all, yeah, so they can see Sister Jehovah Soldier still here yes, y'all. with the Israelites. Her last day. Y'all hearing that? She's crying. Her last day, she's crying. Well, <laughs> says she don't want to go, but Sister Kara is a true Israelite. Yep, true Israelite. Um, she's been a blessing to Sister Carol and the Saints here. Been a blessing to me. Uh, been a real joy. Been a real joy. Hallelujah. Because, you know, you know how you always got those people that you don't mind. You always tell them, "Oh, come on back anytime." No, uh, that, that's just to carry them, brother Mitch and, and brother Frank, and you know all those people that come and stay. But then there's other people you say, "Well, you know, I hope you enjoyed yourself," and you don't never tell them you you're welcome to come back at any time. You ever done that before in your life? I know you have. I know you have, but that's just the way it is. You know how it is. Some folks you don't even want them to come back because they don't know how to act. Or oh, oh, Jesus, Hallelujah. Speaking of that, you know, I think I better get on here and try to figure out a way uh, to make sure that I actually have the directions because ain't no need in driving out there and not have the directions, is it? That wouldn't be, that would not be um, what you would call smart. At least I wouldn't consider it being smart. Would you consider being smart? Hallelujah. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm about to find it here in a minute because uh, where we at? 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 Lord to the King, and we're transferring a card. Uh, so, bro, Pastor Fox told me to bring a camera, bring a video camera stuff because apparently he wants to do some videoing and taping or who knows what. While we out there, it's going to be good to see the family again, but, you know, we're going to be out there for business purposes. Usually we're going to be out there to get some work done. If there's anything like it is here, it's cold. Ain't you cold? Is, is the guest trailer feeling pretty good now? That, that, it ain't tripping. It, all, it's, it's close, it ain't as close as that wood heat, though, is it? Well, you're not complaining. Okay. 
Oh, boy, I tell you, that wood heat is the black best, I'm telling you. It is the best. All right, I really don't have too much to talk about except to know this, that we're going to get back into um, um, finishing up, be the Father's will, um, soul ties. Next Shabbat, be the Father's will. It depends on when I get in because I don't exactly know how long I'm going to be gone. Um, but I do know this. I do know that uh, I'm not going to stay there over the Shabbat. So wherever we're at is wherever we're at. Um, chances are, who knows, I may turn around and say, well, I don't know, we'll stay on the weekend until we get done. I don't know. Uh, that's just how it works. That's just how it works, you know what I mean? Uh, you never know what you're going to run into. You, never, you, you know what I mean? That's just the way it is. All right, all right. And I'll talk to him, but it looks like um, we'll open up the phone line. We'll go ahead and get with it because, like I said, I'm not going to be here long. I am going to be here on this broadcast for one hour tonight, and then I'm cutting it off. No matter where the phone lines is, I'm cutting it off. Hope to see you next time. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to the king. Glory to the king. I see we got everybody in the house tonight. Everybody doing well? Everybody doing fine, huh? Everybody's doing well, and everybody is doing fine. Glory to the king. Now, where in the world is, man, I don't see, and do you see, I don't see SoCal Israelite, man. He's usually here. You see, Brother Scott? SoCal Israelite is usually there. Where in the world is SoCal at? That's not like Brother Scott. Usually, man, he's usually there. Don't forget the Passover, the 24th of March. Everybody starts planning and making own journeys. You know, make it time to get here to be there. Glory to the King. All right, where we at, where we at, where we at? All right, Junior, 347, 347. Phone up, Junior. What you got, Junior? So, Pastor Saints, how you get that say to so far, Martin? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah we um, we'll get there, no doubt, with the prayers of the saints. Oh yeah, we'll get there, no doubt about yeah. it. And tell Pastor Joe Foster, I'll say hello too. I'll do that, Junior. I'll send him oh. a personal hello from you, Junior. <laughs> okay, I like the message. You love that, Crystal huh? Clear. Crystal clear, again, crystal clear. How's y'all fellowship go with Brother Randy? Good. I did good. Good. I lay hands on the new brother, brother, um, brother Felix, new brother from New Jersey. Right? You lay hands on him. He had a back from whatever. I was really lay hands on him. I probably did that. Lay hands on somebody my first time. Like it. Enjoyed it. Doing work with the father. Hold right. the awesome too. But it'll take, it'll take time. It'll take time to heal. Like, you feel bad, but it'll take time. You see, it was off like two three days. So I told him, we need you again. Like, we need lay on, we lay on again. Go out there, yeah. out there again. Not one time well, thing. <clears throat> Not one time thing. Oh, that's true. Randy, what are you saying? Sorry. I said, that's true. It's definitely not a one time thing, man. We just getting warmed up, just getting started. Yeah. I like it, too. Doing what far work. And. Man, cook some great food too. You could cook his butt off too. The cook. All right. Well, Junior's good hint from you. Yeah, I'll let you go because I'll let you guys leave tomorrow. So, Shalom, Pastor Shalom Saints. Shalom, Brother Junior. Be encouraged, my right. brother. You too. Can't come. Oh. And that's the perverted one over there, Sister Carrie. That's the perverted one. That's the one, that, yeah. Yeah, that's the one I got to know my enemies. Hallelujah. All right, going to Florida, 407, 407, Florida. This is Pastor Dow. going to share with you truth. How may I help you? Hey, shalom, Pastor. It's Brother Britt. Hey, Brother Britt. What's up? Hey, I just want to give a little testimony how uh, good you is. Let's so, hear it. Yeah, well, you know, we're trying to be doers of the word and be uh, as self-sufficient as possible down here. You know, as typical as most people, money's really tight. And, uh, I mean, he's sufficient. He he gives everything. And um, so within the past six months, he's given us, uh, man, uh, I calculated it was over uh, $500 and two-by-fours for free. And we've been able to build a goat pen with that and fit about six goats in there, a chicken coop, a place for turkeys, and a greenhouse. It's actually a pretty big greenhouse. And we all do that with uh, free all free. It was awesome. So and the the um what is it the PVC pipe for the greenhouse was free and everything, and it's just you know just raining down blessings of you know as long as you are doing His will and at least trying He gives 
and like just a couple of weeks back, and uh, we were like, wow, we want some turkeys on the property. So our neighbor, no lie, a neighbor the next day pulls in their driveway and gives us uh, their uh, male and female turkeys. <laughs> it's just uh, it's really? blessings after bless. Yeah, I mean, uh, two days later, it wasn't a day later, it was two days later, they pulled in our driveway and said, hey, you want some turkeys? And, yeah, <laughs> we were just saying that. <laughs> it's just amazing how good he is. It sure is, brother. Hey, you oh. ask, you shall receive, brother. Seek, you shall be fine. Knock, it shall be open. Glory to the king. Very good testimony, brother Britt. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hope you all have a safe trip up there. Yeah, pray for us. That's one reason why all the saints, man, they be highly upset to know that I'm on the road and then they didn't know about it, brother. So I try to make sure I let the family know what I'm doing. Yes, so sir. Y'all, I, I do solicit y'all prayers, definitely. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. We praying. Well, that's it for tonight. That's really all I called and just give a little testimony. As long as you, you know, you do your work and uh, he, he, he will fill. He will fill. All right. Uh, All right, Brother Briggs, good to hear from you. Yes, sir. Good to hear from you, too. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Uh, that's good to hear from Brother Brent. Hallelujah. Brother Jesus, 910. How you doing, Brother Jesus? What's up? Shalom, shalom, Pastor Dow, Sister K, all the same service. And how you doing, Pastor Dow? Um, I'm doing okay, bro. Doing all right. What you got? <clears throat> um, I don't have much for you tonight. You know, I'm here with uh, Brother Freeman. I uh, thought I should bring up the brother right here. Um, I do have a question for you today. Um, this is kind of concerning um, Nebuchadnezzar's dream, the statue. Um, <clears throat> you know how the the last kingdom that is uh, the, it's the the feet, correct, Pastor Dow? Yeah, the feet. The feet is the last kingdom that's going to fall. Uh, before the and that the, the Messiah is gonna is gonna the rock is gonna uh, wipe away. Um, my question is, Pastor Dow, for you, and I want to see if you what, what your thoughts are on it. Is that once the New World Order starts getting implemented, you know, with the a whole Agenda 21? Because one thing I do know is that when it gets implemented, Agenda 21 throughout the whole world is that. They're gonna divide the world into ten kind of regions. Yep. So I just wanted to ask you if those ten regions are the very ten toes that are of that statue. I don't. I don't really. Um, <clears throat> I tell you what. The best thing to do is. Let me see. Let's go to the actual scripture itself. Let's go to scripture itself. Rather than me go ahead and jump in a gun. Yes, sir. That's the best way to do it, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Daniel, second chapter. Start at verse. We'll go down. We'll start at verse 31. Daniel 2.31. Thou, O king, saw it, and behold, a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form of thee was terrible. The image head was a fine gold, and the breast and arms of silver, his belly, eyes of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part iron and part clay. And thou sawest the stone that was cut out of the hands and smote the image of the feet, um, and thou sawest till that the stone was cut out without hands and smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and of clay and broke into pieces. And there was the iron and the clay and the brass and the silver and the gold broken into pieces. And I know this is broken into pieces. It's highlighted together. And became like chaff on the threshing floor. Da, 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 da. Let me go down a little bit more. Let me go to a 38 verse. And whosoever the children of men that dwell the beasts of the field, the fowls of the air and heaven did given in the land and have made rule of them all, and thou art this head of gold. All right. Talks about the fourth kingdom. Da, 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 goes on down. Well, oh. he made another. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I I hear what you're saying, but I really don't have an answer for that, brother Jesus. Okay. As far as, yeah. far as agenda 21 being the actual uh, ten kingdoms that's going to be broken up, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, that was my question. I just wanted to see where your thoughts on it, because 
uh, from my research that once the whole new world order is, gonna, is implemented and they implement it with Agenda 21, that they are going to divide the world into ten regions, basically. And from my understanding, it's supposed to be the ten toes of uh, the, the, the clay. But, Where'd you get that from? Uh, you know, from different sources, Pastor. I just uh, from people looking into Agenda 21 and things like that. Oh, okay. And I don't know. I don't know. I can't even answer as far as Agenda 21 being the ten kingdoms, or if that's the agenda or not. I, I really can't answer on that wise, brother. Okay. Hayes. No worries, Pastor Doc. Uh, well, that was my question. I just wanted to hear your thoughts on it. And uh, Brother Freeman right here, he wants to say something, say something Pastor Doc. Sure. Shalom, Pastor. Shalom, shalom. All right, I just want to say shalom to the saints and uh, shalom to you and Sister Carol and uh, just let you all know that um, we're thinking about you over here. So. All and, uh, right. You have- and definitely, you have a safe trip up to on on uh, what is it, so-called Mount? Yeah, so far. So far, yeah, so far Mount. Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, y'all have a safe trip and shalom to you. All right, shalom, shalom. We're going to Ontario, Canada, Sister Lily, Sister Lily. All right, six one three, Ontario, Canada, Sister Lily. How are you, Sister Lily? Shalom, shalom, Pastor. Shalom to all saints. This is uh, Gio- this is Giovanni. Giovanni, how you doing? Pretty good, sir. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Now, was that your mother that called in Shabbat night? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or I, she's I wanted proud to... of you. I'm sorry. What was that? She is proud of you. Oh, uh, I'm very proud of uh, of my mom. I wanted to um, thank you so much for. Um, the, the deliverance you, you did and the prayers you did for them uh, on Shabbat. That was uh, that, that was greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, Pastor. Well, you're welcome. As a matter of fact, I, um, I got an offering from you today, too. I appreciate it. Oh, yes, that was the least I can do, um, Pastor. I mean, you know, since I've started listening to you, uh, yes, I've, grown, I've grown so much in the faith. Um, I mean, you know, I can now stand with uh, a lot of uh, uh, professing Christians uh, and, right. you know, just rebuke and destroy their doctrines uh, within <laughs> a, few, uh, a, a few sentences, if you know what I mean, eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's all to y'all and, uh, and you, sir. Um, so that, that's all I, I wanted to say today. Thank you so much and uh, bless you and all your saints. Thank, thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. Looks like your mother and all them are encouraged too. Looks like that they're done found a, a new energy, a new found a love for the Most High themselves because of your witness. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm uh, I've got a, a YouTube channel, and um, I want what is, to. Uh, I'm sorry. What is your YouTube channel? Uh, it's called Flipside Reality. Flipside Reality. I started that channel before I walked in the faith, and um, uh, I uh, a- after I have been uh, after I found the truth, I slowly started implementing um, videos talking about uh, my uh, walk in the faith and uh, my beliefs and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I want to eventually put in uh, the testimony uh, for my parents' deliverance on there, um, Yah's will. So that we can, uh, I can share this to the to the whole world what you did for my parents. Uh, my dad actually, uh, he told me today that he had some great sleep um, yesterday. So <laughs> that that shows that there, there's something working on here. <laughs> really, his dad had some great sleep. Wow, that's pretty good. That was fast. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We still need to work on uh, the cigarettes. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna help them hard. Um, you know, we, we definitely see that the spirit of the addiction has been lifted as um, they used to smoke, you know, about a pack a day, and now they're about to one to three. So, you, you know, the, the flesh is still operating there naturally, right. but um, we see that the spirit is lifted, and I'm going to try and keep them encouraged so that um, eventually we can drop this all together. Well, hallelujah. I believe that y'all will, no doubt about it. Y'all will, so y'all just stay encouraged. 
stay the course and keep fighting the fight, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once again, Pastor, thank you so much. I love you. I love all the saints. And uh, blessing to you all. My mom all right. uh, wants to, to say a word before I, I, we let you go. Sure. Pastor Dowell? How are you doing, Sister Lily? <laughs> I'm doing great, great. Um, there's just one thing I want to uh, say thank you for your, all your prayers that you did uh, with your saint. My husband passed the night like he never did before. But I am very sorry um, for Jesus because I smoke uh, two cigarettes today. And I think I give pain um, for my son because he said, Mother, how can you do such a thing? Because they pray on you. But I said, Giovanni, it's a wonderful, a wonderful thing because I smoke two cigarettes today. And I eat ten, and I know that Jesus, he do it perfectly. So right. <laughs> I thank you so much, Pastor Dowell. And I know, and I know. That I'm healed. I'm healed. Yeah. Well, Indeed. You're, you're, you all will you will be delivered. Um, t- tell um, son to thank Yah for the the victory that you have gotten thus Amen. far, and we'll continue to keep on uh, lifting you all up. Okay. Okay. And what, uh, my son? I thank you so much. And what do you want to tell you? That he, he broadcast himself and publishing your the Bible, the Hebrew Bible, and told all the people in the world that's the real Bible that we should study. I thank you so much for that marvelous um, mass that you did Saturday for my husband and I. Thank you so much, you and Sister Carol. I'm right, your wife. Yes, ma'am. We love you so much, and don't stop uh, the good working from this world. And I thank that you call Brother Steve, because five minutes after you hang up, he called us, and we <laughs> pray with him. <laughs> thank you, Pastor Dowell. Straight through the real truth. God bless you. We love you so much. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Love y'all, too. Y'all be encouraged, okay? Thank you, Pastor Dowell. Shabbat Shalom. 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 Ah, there's just some beautiful people right there. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, Brother Greg from Texas says, Yah is too awesome for words. And he got it. He got that right. He definitely got that right. Hey, Brother Spinney, you and Sister Kathy left Sela's bag on the front porch, so I put it in the house. So when y'all come back over, y'all have to pick up little Sela's bag, okay? <laughs> i tell you what, y'all is too awesome for her. That's just the truth. Also, we have Sister Lisa Harvin. Sister Lisa Harvin up here that, that um, um, I hadn't heard anything from her lately on that, but I need to see how Sister Lisa is doing. Hallelujah. See how Sister Lisa Harvin is doing. Harvin is doing because Sister Lisa had some trouble with sleeping. And I think what I'm going to do next Shabbat um, is I'm going to do, I may, I may, if I can remember, do a lot of things like I used to do the old time when they got problems like that. They seen, can't get a break. I was just going to call them up and lay hands on them. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. We've got the Chavez family um, in the house. Glory to the King from California. All right, all right, all right. Light armor piercing. Uh, well, yeah, Mike Holland. You know, brother Mike, if you're gonna be loading some, you just save save a thousand rounds for us here straightway. Cause we're gonna need all we can get. No, thirty five hundred rounds is not a lot of rounds. It sounds like it, but it's not. Not at all. Uh-uh. Hallelujah. Man, isn't that a wonderful testimony, though? Isn't that a wonderful testimony from um, Brother Giovanni? You can tell that they are so appreciative for what Yahshua HaMashiach has done in their lives. Um, 
Hallelujah. They have just, I mean, he is just, you know, our king, we serve a wonderful king. And I'm telling you what, you know, there's one thing I noticed. I have noticed, Israel, that whenever we all get together in in um, in unity and prayer, some people call it corporate prayer, I'm going to call it just unity prayer. When we're all in unity and prayer, that's, just, that's a lot of power. And the Most High seems to really, truly honor those. And we're going to start doing more of that. We're going to start doing more of that for people who have real true needs and stuff because we're already involved in spiritual warfare. Remember, the Bible says one can put a 1,000 to flight, two can put 10,000 to flight. So if you're getting 100 or 200 saints that are all touching and agreeing on one thing on this earth, Man, I think that well, there's a lot of power involved in that. And so I see a lot of deliverance, a lot of healing taking place that way. So, hey, what I want y'all saints to do, if y'all got personal things that y'all need prayer requests for, I want y'all to call the dining hall and ask to speak to Sister Ashley or Sister Nellie or, or, you know, anyone that sits down and take good notes and tell them this is our personal prayer request. We would like to be put on the prayer list for this such and such issue and problem, and we'll get after it that because we're going to start, um, because i tell you what, you saints filled with the Holy Spirit, all that power you got, um, you keep the commandments, looks like the Most High Yah is not ignoring that at all, hallelujah, glory, all right, anyway, well anyway, I appreciate it, it seems like everybody's coming down here tonight, but hey, I appreciate the time. And that I had each and every last one of you tonight, glory to the King. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off and start getting myself ready to go to bed so I can wake up a little early and get ready to go, uh, make last-minute preparations and stuff. But I want you all to be encouraged. Again, y'all pray for our safe trip home. Pray for Sister Soldiers. Safe trip back to Pennsylvania. Hallelujah. Yeah, that was a big mistake, Mike. Uh huh. Good. Hallelujah. But yeah, um, uh, I tell you what, y'all, y'all, y'all pray for Sister Soldier's safe trip to back home. Does she have traveling mercies as well? Hallelujah. I love y'all, Israel. I really, truly do. Um, like I said, if y'all got some sincere prayer requests, make your requests known before y'all. That's what the Bible says. Make them known. So us saints, we can really, man, I think, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm seriously thinking there's something going on. I think we think we got a way that we can uh, infiltrate Satan's kingdom even greater uh, now because you know, I'm telling you, I see some things happening here. Let's always pray for everybody's help, too, since we're dealing with all these stupid um, chemtrails and everything else is in the air, too, all right? Hallelujah. Y'all be encouraged. Look forward to seeing y'all. Brother Shane will be doing scripture study, uh, so y'all get ready for that. You know, scripture study, usually about an hour, no more than an hour, 15 minutes, an hour, 10 minutes long. Um, Would y'all pray for that? Hallelujah. Uh, Keep up with the videos, brother. I don't know, maybe on Pastor Fox's channel or something like that, because I'm going to be out of net. Um, But, hey, y'all have a beautiful, beautiful week. Keep the most high first and foremost in your hearts and your minds, okay? Tell somebody about the ministry. Hallelujah. So that they may be able to experience the blessings of the Most High Yah too, okay? So, y'all be encouraged. The King is coming.